In this presentation, we will discuss the transitive property of asymptotic notations. So, let's get started and let's see the topics. The topic is asymptotic notations transitive property. We will study the transitive property of asymptotic notations in this lecture. So, let's get started and let's see the transitive property first. This is the transitive property. If fn is big O of gn, and gn is big O of hn, then fn is big O of hn. In other words, we can say, if gn is asymptotically bigger than fn, and hn is asymptotically bigger than gn, then it makes sense that hn is also asymptotically bigger than fn. So, this is the transitive property of big O notation. Now, let's try to visualize this property through the graph. Here is the graphical representation of fn, gn and hn. Here we can observe that fn is big O of gn or we can say gn is asymptotically bigger than fn. Similarly, we can also say hn is asymptotically bigger than gn. From this graph, we can also observe that hn is asymptotically bigger than fn. This is the transitive property. If gn is asymptotically bigger than fn and if hn is asymptotically bigger than gn, then it is clear that hn is also asymptotically bigger than fn. From this graph also, we are observing the same thing. So, it is clear that the transitive property is true. But this is the graphical proof. Let's try to prove this property mathematically as well. For this, let's take a simple example. Let's say fn is n, gn is n square and hn is n cube. These are the three functions. Can we say fn is big O of hn? In order to prove whether fn is big O of hn, we will first show fn is big O of gn. Then we will show gn is big O of hn. Then we will show fn is big O of hn. This will prove that the transitive property is true. So now let's try to show whether fn is big O of gn or not. For this, we need to apply the big O definition according to the definition of the big O notation. fn is big O of gn if and only if fn is less than or equal to c times gn for all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c and n naught are constants. If this inequality is satisfied, then we can say fn is big O of gn. We want to show whether fn is big O of gn or not, or in other words, we want to show whether n is big O of n square or not. For this, let's replace fn by n and gn by n square in this inequality. Also, we need to assume some c. Let's say c is equal to 1. Then the inequality will be n less than or equal to n square. Can we say this inequality is true? We can observe that n is equal to n square for n equal to 1. And n is less than n square for all values of n greater than 1. So it is clear that this inequality is true. And hence we can say fn is big O of gn or we can say n is big O of n square. So, the first part is done. Now, let's move to the second part. Let us now prove that gn is big O of hn. In this example, gn is n square and hn is n cube. As we want to show gn is big O of hn, in the definition, we will replace fn by gn and gn by hn. Then the definition becomes gn equal to big O of hn if and only if gn is less than or equal to c times hn. Now, we need to replace gn by n square and hn by n cube. And for this inequality also, let us assume c is equal to 1. So, the inequality becomes n square less than or equal to n cube. Can we say this inequality is true? This inequality is true for all values of n greater than or equal to 1, just like this inequality. So, we can say 
जी एन इज बिग ऑफ एच एन और वी कैन से एन स्क्वेयर इज बिग ऑफ एन क्यूब सो द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रांजिटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज ऑल्सो डन नाउ वी नो इफ एफ एन इज बिग ऑफ जी एन एंड इफ जी एन इज ऑल्सो बिग ऑफ एच एन देन एफ एन मस्ट बी बिग ऑफ एच एन कैन वी से एफ एन इज बिग ऑफ एच एन इफ दीज टू आर सेटिस्फाइड अप टू दिस पॉइंट वी हैव प्रूव्ड दैट एफ एन इज बिग ऑफ जी एन एंड जी एन इज बिग ऑफ एच एन नाउ लेट्स शो दैट एफ एन इज ऑल्सो बिग ऑफ एच एन वी नो एफ एन इज एन एंड एच एन इज एन क्यूब इन द डेफिनेशन वी नीड टू रिप्लेस जी एन बाय एच एन सो द डेफिनेशन बिकम्स एफ एन इक्वल टू बिग ऑफ एच एन इफ एन ओनली इफ एफ एन इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू सी टाइम्स एच एन वी नो एफ एन इज एन एंड एच एन इज एन क्यूब एंड लेट अस अस्यूम दैट सी इज इक्वल टू वन फॉर दिस इन इक्वालिटी एज वेल सो वी विल गेट दिस इन इक्वालिटी एन लेस देन और इक्वल टू एन क्यूब can we say this inequality is true we can see that this inequality is true for all values of n greater than or equal to 1 therefore we can say fn is big o of hn this means the transitive property is true if fn is big o of gn and if gn is big o of hn then fn is big o of hn this is the mathematical proof of the transitive property So with this I hope it is clear what is the transitive property and why the transitive property is true with this we are done with this topic and with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one